The following Defending Our America episode is presented without commercial interruption by Sig Sauer. I think there's a thirst out there from a lot of people who think along some of the same lines as we do. No, but 75% of the heroin coming into the United States is coming from Afghanistan. The American people are funding the killing Absolutely. of the American soldiers. Absolutely. We could have had, I think, much more success in Iraq had we committed to staying there, negotiated the uh, status of forces agreement that we needed to. Would there still have been violence? Absolutely. Would there still have been American casualties? Unfortunately, there probably would have been. But I think we were well on the road to achieving success in Iraq, and, uh, and we gave up. We just packed up and left. I say you go, you go in the schools and you find the people that are ready, willing, and able. Find a janitor that's former military. What, I don't care who it is. I don't care what their position is. You get them only the little bit of training that's necessary to get them to be an asset to the cause. But you put drones and, and we're going to be more secure and more secure. You know what? You're less free, less free, less free. Individual liberties and that freedom can provide security because you don't have to rely on a state apparatus to provide that security. Right. Maybe people say, well, it's not our obligation to defend Iraq. Well, it's not our obligation, but is it at least a, a smart thing to do to prevent a terrorist haven from being created that's basically as well armed as the Iraqi military was? What's going to be left behind when we leave there? A terrorist haven now. ISIS, the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria, or the Levant, has taken over. They virtually banished the Iraqi military from vast swaths of the country of Iraq. And now they're the best armed terrorist faction ever to exist on the planet. No one would have ever thought 9-11 would happen. Since then, instead of thinking it'll never happen again, start asking yourself, when is it going to happen again? And how is it going to happen again?